What is this? Oh no! Oh no! Guys, welcome back to Minecraft Safe Tech Ages episode 15. Today we're going into the Between Lands. To do so, we need to find the Druid Altar. I think we found one on our adventures, which is quite far away, but now we have the slime sling. It should take us only a few moments to get there. Uh, then we need to kill some druids, get uh, four pieces for a talisman, a swamp talisman, and uh, combine the four pieces on an altar and use it to create a portal to the Betweenlands. Let's see how much time it takes us to get there. Alright guys, we were lucky enough to find one in a few minutes, which is amazing. Uh, be careful of those guys, the dark druids, they are quite uh, the hard hitters. Uh, we got our first talisman piece, which was lucky. I usually build a, a totem with luck, which I will do. Basically, this will uh, allow us to get the uh, talisman pieces faster. You need four of them. There's uh, four different uh, kind, four pieces, and you need uh, all of them to create the talisman which you need to travel into the between lands. So let's kill some druids. So we got, we got all four pieces very quickly. I killed like four or five or five druids to get those pieces. In my last let's play, I killed them like 20 times. So once you have them all, you just put them in the altar and the rituals should start. And soon you will have the swamp talisman. There you go. Done. Now we head back home. Yeah, we head back home. We head back home. Okay, so for to go into the between lands, you just need the an oak sapling or any kind of sapling and some space because the portal takes a lot of space. Then you need your talisman and just right click on it and boom it's done. Check this out guys this portal is amazing it looks fantastic. Also I wanted to test out the blood lamp so I turned on the F7 key. I'm actually not sure how the blood lamp works, like does, it, does the light stays forever? Because if it does, it's OP guys, it's overpowered AF. So definitely recommend uh, making it. If you don't know how to make it, check out my last episode. So guys, let's go into the Betweenlands. Alright guys, it finally loaded. What is this? It's one read. I'm not sure if we need it. That's where we spawned. What? Oh, it's still lagging. Still lagging. 
That's okay, guys. Oh, hello. As you can see, our tools deal almost no damage. Oh my god, what is going on? Yeah, uh, guys, the first thing we need is some new tools because your old tools are useless in the between lands uh, as you can see they are very slow and they are breaking everything really slowly actually the crystal sword is uh, quite nice to be honest maybe you should use that breaking the woods with your hand will will um, not get you anything so at least bring a stone axe or something um, yeah, killing killing uh, monsters at this time is uh, just a waste of time. So try to run away from them and uh, and get some uh, in the between lands tools ASAP. And to do so, uh, you need uh, some wood, some weed wood, which is uh, the between lands wood. And some uh, wheat wood sticks, I believe they are called, which you find from um, from bushes. That also, the blood lamp works, guys. The blood lamp works in the between lands, which is amazing. Another reason to build it. Let's get some more wood. Turn it into a chopping block. Then uh, turn some into. Uh, planks here I wanted to show you the bushes but I couldn't find any here's the bushes here's where you get the, the sticks weed wood bush all right guys place down the chopping block place some wood smash it just like you did in the very beginning get enough for a crafting table and you get the achievement all over again let's make some basic tools actually if you if you kill some swamp monster monsters you'll probably have some bones and you can use the bones to make some tools because they are better than just plain wood let's get the others done the axe the shovel I thought uh, that was uh, rock, but uh, that's just more wood. Anyways, let's get some wood. Wood is always good. Right. We also needed to make the wood wood weed wood sword because you need it for the achievement. Now you have some uh, options here guys, you can dig a hole and look for uh, ores or you can just, uh, if, you've, if you've built the slime sling, which you must guys, by this time you must uh, you can just travel and you find some idle heads which give you one of the best ores available the octine ore um, also, at this point, I forget to place uh, a marker of my portal back home. And uh, yeah, definitely do that before you go traveling, guys, because you'll definitely get lost. At this point, I thought this was a sap tree. The sap tree drops sap, which is used to, to fill up the small little brown balls you see over the hunger bar but uh, yeah that wasn't a, a sap tree it was just a plain tree we'll find some sap trees later now i realize that i have to go back and mark my my portal i think i tried to do it but some zombies attacked 
no this is where I mark it yeah very important guys because if you go traveling you'll definitely get lost all right let's uh, see if we can find some idle heads with the slime sling it should be very easy as you get a bird's eye view nothing yet nothing yet another important thing we need from the the between lands is some uh, middle gems they are called oh here's one nice this is the crimson one the the red one there's the red one a blue one and a green one and you need to purify those in a purifier which we will make later so the crimson gem is used to make a seared furnace controller a seared furnace controller and a seared furnace is basically a big furnace so the most useful crystal is definitely the blue one which is used to create the smelter controller but we'll get a few of them anyways maybe I mean one of each is enough but get two and you're covered for the whole series or for the whole gameplay of safety pages all right guys let's see if we can find an idle head strongly suggested to look for them as you upgrade your tools to uh, I think two levels up oh there's one see that's so easy with the slime sling basically you go around until you find the eyes and the eyes are made out of octane blocks you just mine the rock mine the block and there you go guys that's nine octane ingots and there's a second eye so that's 18 ingots I believe the octane uh, tools are the best but maybe I'm wrong no the valonite uh, valonite tools are the best but anyways this is the second best and we didn't waste much time right we just jumped around which was fun let's go to the surface let's get some wood chop down some wood oh sorry guys this is the sub tree this is the one we need to fill our sap you get those saps S ball of saps ball of sap i'm sorry and you just eat it just like normal food and uh, you fill up the sap meter let's make some octane tools because our wood tools are useless chop down some wood into planks get a crafting table and i believe we can just make the tools yep very nice an axe throw our wood axe away sword massive upgrade actually not a massive upgrade i think it's like six six damage and one 1.7 attack but the pickaxe is better like six mining speed instead of four yeah get get all the tools yeah bone sword is six damage and 1.6 attack while the octane sword is six attack and 1.6 wait that's the same anyways but the octane sword uh, sets things on fire so you can even get uh, cooked cow meat without uh, wasting time for cooking it all right guys let's see if we can find one more head because we definitely will need more octane those are the snails you can breed them for an achievement 
but I, I don't think we need to waste time for that we're not here for that from the between lands I think you need uh, a few blue ingots which I don't remember the name of the ore we'll find them later uh, some uh, octane ingots and uh, the gems nice that's another idle head perfect perfect Alright guys, let's see what else we can find in uh, today's episode. Let's test out the Octine Sword. Yeah, it doesn't deal that much damage, but it sets everything on fire. Later on, if we find some artifact chests or chests in our adventure, we can get the uh, an axe that kills those uh, swamp monsters in one hit which is amazing all right let's see what we can find and the mud is uh, yeah you don't want to get stuck in the mud trust me oh my helmet broke that's what you get what is this oh that's a big tree i think you get an achievement from that yep that's some big wood and also the next achievement is you need to hit the tree and then the pirates get angry let's see if i i'm not sure what the pirates are actually let's hit some wood let's see if they come to us hmm. nothing is happening well let's get some wood then 12 should be enough let's keep on going guys this tree looks amazing i'm not sure what it is let's check it out the spirit tree what is this i'm not sure what it what this is guys if you know what this is comment down below let's see if it breaks no it doesn't oh no what's hitting me what is this oh no oh no damn i didn't expect that well guys this is all i have time for today i hope you enjoyed the episode i hope to see you in the next one i'm wishing you all a good morning a good day and a good night bye bye guys let's see what happens in the next episode